Oh, I'm recording. Well, the Senate has just appears to have just passed the passed the tax bill. Just this early this morning. Today, Saturday, December second, twenty seventeen. Uh, at the end, they were applauding themselves and patting themselves on the back, the Republicans were. And I'm just trying to figure out what they're so happy about. Are they cheering about uh, increasing the deficit for a trillion dollars? Uh, is that what they're so happy about? Settling future gener generations with all that debt? Are they uh, happy about uh, taking away deductions for medical expenses for middle-class Americans? Maybe they're, they're cheering, that, cheering on that and patting themselves on the back for that. Um, uh, I'm just trying to figure out why, why they're so happy, for, with, along with the assumption that they're going to, the corporations getting the big tax break are going to be creating more jobs for Americans, and they've, they've only a record of creating jobs for overseas, overseas workers, and they're continuing to do so, sending jobs overseas. When they do have jobs, they're, they send them overseas. So there might be some jobs created, but most of the, uh, um, the most of what, what they're uh, going to get um, from the uh, tax breaks, the corporations, they're going to put it into uh, dividends and stock buybacks. So the corporate dividends will probably increase, but that's going to go dis disproportionately to the wealthy Americans. So unless trickle-down trickle economics works, and it's proven not to do so, uh, that uh, the corporate tax cut and the resulting increase in dividends and buybacks, stock buybacks, are not going to be much of a help to middle class and lower class Americans. So I'm still puzzled as to what the Republicans were cheering about. They're supposed to be the more fiscally responsible party, but they're acting in a very fiscally irresponsible manner in uh, with this new uh, tax bill that, that uh, saddles future generations with even more debt. Uh, more, more public debt that's going to have to be paid off at some point in the future. And one other point that I want to make is that Kansas recently, the state of Kansas recently attempted to uh, grow, grow their economy, improve the business climate, and uh, improve the overall economy by uh, cutting business taxes and, and taxes in general. They just slashed them. Uh, a few years ago, and the consequences were disastrous for the economy of Kansas, for the state of Kansas, and the people of Kansas. It, they, it would show that it just does not work to slash taxes. That does not help grow the economy. But yet, it, even though that's that was uh, proven uh, through the ta ta tax cuts in Kansas, uh, the federal government, the federal GOP, its senators, and the uh, Congressmen, they decided that they're going to do it anyways, um, which is uh, even more puzzling. And uh, one, one final point is the history is also shown back in the 1950s, I believe it was, had some of the highest tax rates, but also a time when our economy grew the most. So why don't we go back to that point where uh, I believe the highest tax bracket was um, taxed at a rate of 90 percent. Uh, that'd, be, that'd be just fine with that, and it looks like that really helped the economy it's to taxing the wealthy at a very high rate. Um, it, it seems to work, so I wish they would do that instead of uh, it's, it's assuming this trickle down economics is going to work, which it proves, proves it's just proven time and time again it does not. Okay, that's, that's all I wanted to say for tonight. Thank you, and goodbye, and good luck too. Mm -hmm.